Quarterfinals day at the Queensland Tennis Centre and the Brisbane International has been nothing short of eventful. The top three seeds, Simona Hadup, Gabi Margarita and defending champion Maria Sharapova headlined the star-studded draw. But in unheard of season opening style, all three were forced to withdraw due to injury, with Halep and Sharapova yet to hit a ball. And the excitement continued on Thursday, as the Brisbane fans witnessed more top player casualties as a dark horse qualifier conquered, and the 2016 semi-finalists were revealed. As the crowds packed in to the 7,000-seated Pat Rafter Arena, it was qualifier Samantha Crawford who'd be turning their heads. <laughs> The 20-year-old was making her main draw appearance, only through qualifying, having dropped just the one set as she proceeded to knock out Belinda Bencic. Ranked 118 places higher than her was her opponent and former finalist Andrea Petkovic. Despite only being Crawford's sixth appearance in a WTA main draw, she showed no signs of nerves with some aggressive hitting early on. That's a fine shot. It's a bullet from the American. Using all six foot one, the first of three aces signalled her dominance. Another break of serve for the American, and the qualifier would round out the set in style. Petkovic clearly struggling with her opponent's power game, is left amused. Andrea Petkovic, I'm not sure she knows quite what to make of this. The qualifier, Sam Crawford, takes it 6-3. And Crawford continued with some big hitting, positioning another early break in the second. Crawford continues to bring the heat brick the big time here in Brisbane. The German struggling with the American's power and shot deck simply had no answer as she let another break slip by. An unforced error gives the world 142 the victory. She advances to a main draw semi-final for the first time in her career to face former finalist Victoria Azarenka. A performance that simply takes your breath away. The fairy tale continuing here in Brisbane for the American qualifier, Samantha Crawford. I just told myself to stay calm and take it one point at a time and to have fun. <laughs> and yeah, I thought I played well and handled it well and, and just want to enjoy everything. So whilst Petkovic was soothing her woes, her doubles partner Angelique Kerber had a more successful outing against Anastasia Pavichenkova. The German was competing in her third quarter-final in Brisbane, yet to reach the semi-finals here. A hard-fought first set was proving that prospect a difficult one for the German, both players refusing to be broken. But it was last year's four-title winner that had the edge in the ninth game. The first set duly closed out 6-4. The second saw a similar scoreline, but the world number 28 began to drop her form and surrendered an early break. Kerber injecting some much needed urgency to proceedings, wrapping up the match 6-4, 6-4. As the evening session drew in, it brought with it the third semi-finalist of the day, as sixth seed Carlos Suarez Navarro faced America's Vivara Lepchenko. An early exchange of breaks showed the Americans' aggressive intentions on a strong start. It's a bullet. Lepchenko breaks back again. But the Spaniard began to falter as she got broken once again, a long backhand conceding the set. Despite trailing for the majority of the opening set, it is Lepchenko who has taken it by six games to four. The world number 13 was quick to rectify her mistakes, though, soon finding the lines. A role reversal in the second, as the Spaniard effortlessly swung to take it 6-4. We are going the distance. Suarez Navarro takes the second set. The third was just as tight, but Suarez Navarro found a gap, charging forward for a 4-2 lead. It's a clever play, Suarez Navarro. Coolness personified. A backhand single-handedly securing her 400th win on the WTA circuit and seeing her through to the semi-finals. I was nervous a little bit and, and she also played play good. I was running a lot and, and you know, uh, I just need to fight every, every ball. 
The last match on Thursday saw former 2009 champion Victoria Azarenka take on the US Open finalist Roberta Vinci. Belarusian was quick off the mark, racing through the first set to drop just one game. The Italian clearly off form and hopelessly asking questions. Azarenka was quick to capitalise though on the slower slicing ball from her opponent as she once again dominated in the second set. An assertive performance saw her drop just two more games before capturing her fourth appearance in a Brisbane semi-final. So after today's unfolding events, the tomorrow's semi-finalists all accounted for. The highest remaining seed in the tournament, Angelique Kerber, will be looking for her third victory over Carla Suarez Navarro, while surprise qualifier Samantha Crawford takes on the 2009 champion Victoria Azarenka.